All right, so next up we've got confirmed false prophet extraordinaire and Nashville's own Elvis Presley wannabe, Kent Christmas. Kent, of course, is a raging narcissist who not only lies in the name of Jesus Christ, but he genuinely does have what I would call a God complex. He thinks he is everything. Now, his peeps, all his people, well, they worship him in his church. And when he takes the stage to lay down a fresh false prophecy, well, you can almost hear that hero music playing as he walks out. Now, we're going to listen to a couple of clips here because there's some irony to be discussed. And uh, so as we go, we will comment. So Kent, take it away. I'm going to begin to deal with the false prophets, saith the Lord, that have put words in my mouth, that have prophesied not to advance my kingdom, but to advance their own kingdom. Now, have you ever heard a better example of irony than what you just heard right here? Kent Christmas, who is one of the falsest prophets on social media, period, and has made a fortune by speaking outright lies in the name of God, is on stage in all his glory and is pretending yet again that God is speaking through him and is pretty much condemning himself while he is so blinded by his Superman narcissism. Well, what can we say about this? It is just amazing. And I want to say one more thing here. One thing that I would pray concerning Clark Kent here is that I would ask God to fulfill his words here. It's that simple. Kent is destroying lives. He's destroying faith worldwide when it comes to many, many thousands of people. May God stop him cold. Let's continue. And know this, saith God, I do not need other men to stand and point out what is true and what is false. I am God enough to defend my own name, and I am God enough to defend my own honor, saith the Lord. <clears throat> All right, so uh, what he just said is absolutely absurd, and it's easily debunked with, well, basically the whole Bible. But what he's doing here is he's more than likely addressing this toward one of the other famous prophets slash pastors who's been calling out other prophets on social media. In fact, it's so obvious that Kent here is preaching threats toward this other guy. And why wouldn't he? Kent is a master at calling down death, threatening, pretending like God is angry, speaking through him. Uh, Ken is a master at showing zero mercy and zero grace. Next to Julie Green, he calls down the most death. Now, maybe that's up for debate, but he is, he is the go-to death guy, and he's filled with hatred, and he lets it fly every time he gets on stage and does one of his fake prophecies. By the way, if you go and watch this, this whole thing is the same prophecy he gave last year the same prophecy he gave in 2021, 2020, 19, 18. Back it up. God's unlo or loosing the death angel. Uh, your friends are going to die. Politicians are going to die. Everyone's going to die. Uh, but it never seems to happen. And yet he gets up there year after year and says the same thing. And his audience goes crazy. They clap. You'll hear them clapping for pain and death. Because, again, that's one of the worst parts, is that he teaches this to his assembly. He teaches this hatred and death to those that follow him. Let's continue. So just as I'm going to 
saith God, even this month, I'm going to demonstrate my power and I'm going to begin to deal with the false prophets. Know this, saith God, those that have moved me off of my throne of judgment and have appointed themselves as arbitrators of the kingdom of the Lord to say who is right and who is wrong. I am also going to deal with them, saith God. Did I not say judge not and ye shall not be judged? For there has been confusion and chaos, saith the Lord, that has been loosed in the body of Christ by men who have not feared me, who have dared to think of themselves as ways that they can point a finger and say who is right and who is wrong. Again, this man's own words convict him. Wow, do you want to talk about men who don't fear God? My goodness, Kent is at the top of the list for men who do not fear God. And this is why we want to expose him. If you're a follower of this man, stop. Come away from him. Have no fellowship with this man who makes his living mocking our God and causes others to swerve as well. If you come over to Ephesians chapter 5, go to verse 11 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And Kent Christmas certainly falls under that category of darkness. Have no fellowship with that nonsense. All right, so as we wrap up this segment with Clark Kent here, uh, we don't want to miss the opportunity, or we don't want to waste the opportunity to once again see if we can help Kent in his ongoing search to find somebody named Bobo and to present them to Kent on Sunday. Give it a listen. Okay, everyone, let's uh, let's see what we can do here to help Kent. Try to do your part. This clearly is ongoing, and Bobo is not listening to the pleas of this man here. It, by the way, does anybody have a description of Bobo that they can share with the rest of us, just in case we see him or her? We can locate them, and uh, I, I don't know. But uh, we just want to end Kent's suffering and his search for Bobo. Oh, and if you do find him or her, please, I guess, again, make sure that he comes to Kent on Sunday. So we'll leave it right there and uh, pray for Kent in this situation.